Are you depressed? It's a question I'm sure you've been asked many times before. I know I have. Um, this video is designed to help people who are trying to assess the degree to which they may be suffering from depression. Now, I've been depressed many times in my life for various reasons. Uh, at the moment, I am depressed. Uh, the reason I'm depressed at the moment is a council tax bill for £2,400. Now, council tax alone, I think, is a legitimate reason to commit suicide. I mean, really, it's it's fucking terrible, you know. But enough about me. This is really about you. Now, what, what this video is designed to do is you may be in a situation where, where you think you may be depressed, but you're not sure. And so I'm trying to provide you with a framework that will enable you to determine if you are suffering from clinical depression or you're simply fed up. Now, the first test is uh, what I call the Argos test, right? Now, what, what you're going to require is an Argos catalogue. Now, get your Argos catalogue and start to leaf through it, you know, one page after another. There's an awful lot of stuff in an Argos catalogue, you know, I mean, and if you find something in there that you think, oh, you know, hey, you know, I might like that, you know, even if it's not for yourself, you might be looking for a gift for somebody else and you might see something you think, oh, look, you know, come and see this, you know, so-and-so would like this, you know, and you might think about buying it. Now, if you do find something in the Argos catalogue that, that you would like to buy, then give yourself a tick, okay? If you look through the Argos catalogue and you decide that, wow, you know, this is just a load of shite, you know, this is a waste of money, everything in here is crap, then give yourself a cross, okay? Now, that's the first test, it's an easy test to do, okay? Now, if you get a cross, you know, it, it's not a good sign, but certainly if you get a tick, if you look through the Argos catalogue and you find some, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there, you know, um, there, there's, 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 there's jewellery, you know, some jewellery, there's, there's, there's lovely cameras, you know, watches, uh, clothes, uh, furniture, a new bed. You know, you might like a new bed, you know, very nice. And, uh, oh, there's, there's, there's sports equipment, there, there's everything in the Argos catalogue. So you, you take a look at the Argos, and if you find something and you give yourself a tick, then that means conclusively that you're not suffering from depression. You may be feeling a little tired or a little, bit, a little fed up, but it isn't clinical. Now, if you do get a cross on the Argos, you still might not be depressed, you might just be a bit fed up, you know. So, the next test is a test that's used up and down the country on a, you know, a, a regular basis in every psychiatric establishment in the country. This this is the one. And what I, what I call it is the Coronation Street Test, okay? Now, if you go into a mental institution, it doesn't, it could be the Priory. The Priory is still a mental hospital, you know, except it's for celebrities and rich people, but it's the same. Now, if you go into any mental hospital, then the first, anybody, they'll take anybody in. You just have to go and say, look, I'm going off my head, they'll let you in. Um, now, a wee, a wee tip here, if you do sign yourself into a mental institution, use your real name. You know, because the problems that you could find later on, if you go in there and use a false name, at a later stage you might want out, you know, and they'll have found your real name and 
you you could have a problem with that. Okay, they, you know, so use your real name if you're going to go in there. You know, but within the establishments, a, a, a mental hospitals, the first three weeks are assessment. So they'll take a person in. Now, obviously, if a person's in extreme psychosis and he's, he's dangerous, then he's going to need immediate uh, sedation and put in a rubber room. But generally, what they'll do is they'll let you see a junior psychiatrist and he'll write you a wee prescription of some psychotropic drug. They're all the same, you know. There's a, there's thousands of them. But he, he, he'll give them some of this and they'll start giving you the, the medication just to see if anything happens. But really, this three weeks is you sit every night and watch television. Now, the nurse that's in charge, the charge nurse who's in charge of the ward, he's watching. And he's watching EastEnders and Coronation Street. And he's watching there to see if you start following the, the storylines. You know, if, you, if you're watching, you know, Soap, EastEnders, Coronation Street, if you're watching that and you start, oh, oh, look at that story, I wonder what's going to happen next, you know. Uh, or or you might see somebody and say, oh, you know, I'd shag her. Uh, then this, he's watching and he'll put, oh, oh yeah, he's, he can take his telly. You know, taking your telly is more important than taking the medication, to be honest with you. Now, if you get in and you think, oh, you know, I'd shag her, or, oh, I wonder what happens next, you know, this is quite a good storyline, on East Enders or Coronation Street, then you're okay. You're not suffering for depression. This is this is it. This is what they would say. They say, no, no, he's, he can take his telly. He's, he's watching Coronation Street. Oh, look there, he's laughing. He's laughing. He, you know, he said he, he said he wants to shag her. That's it. You're okay. You're fine, and you're not suffering for depression. So, you know, that's it. But the third test, okay, is that means if you can't find anything in the Argos that you like, that you fancy buying and your East Enders and your Coronation Street, you're watching it and going, this is fucking shite. Then, uh, you know, there's just the last test to go and this is definitive, a definitive test. Just sit in a darkened room with no TV, no radio, no CD, complete silence, just sit there in a darkened room with nothing playing in the background, nothing going on, and just sit and start to think about everything bad that's ever happened to you in your whole life. Everybody who's been a rotten pig to you, everybody who done a dirty trick against you, everything, every rotten thing that happened to you, you just keep thinking about it over and over again. And then start to think about how big a disappointment you've been to all the people that have known you, your parents, right for childhood, everybody, partners, everything. And how big a disappointment you've been to all these people. And most of all, how big a disappointment you've been to yourself. Okay, And you just think about all that stuff over and over again for hours and then... If you start to feel like a, a a feeling in your solar plexus, like pushing up, like this feeling that you're just going to start tripping on LSD, stop immediately, right? Because you are clinically depressed. In fact, you're heading for a schizoid embolism. <laughs>